we got all our wood milled up for this and it's all dried out in the kiln so I'm thinking we start out with this lower section so we got our main headers and then our main support beams and our sills and we're gonna put windows in there at the end mortise and tina on all of these and then peg it together so I think yeah. if we start with that yeah the next step we'll then do the upper portion of the roof which there's probably five main components to that we got our king beam which we'll cut into an octagon for all the eight rafters and then we also got our secondary headers to go in between them and then our secondary rafters to go onto there and we'll mortise and tina on those as well and then the last piece will be these angle supports which go from the primary rafters down to our king beams so there's a lot to it yeah let's go get the wood out of the kiln and bring it on in here
All right, we got this lumber for our lower portion of the roof and the barn. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna kind of lay it all out. We have it all cut and mortised and all the holes drilled for the pegs. So the only thing we have to do is drill the pegs in our T-nons. So we're gonna dry fit them. And then what we're gonna do is offset our holes so that way when we put the pegs in, it really pulls it tight together on that joint. So we're gonna dry fit them all right now, probably put a clamp on it, clamp them all tight. And then yeah, we'll mark them where the holes gotta be. And then we'll actually start putting together our roof rafters and cutting those up as well once it's all put together. So let's, uh, let's start laying this thing out. We got our big bandsaw here and what our game plan is to cut our giant octagon keystone beam on this because we kind of have to cut 45s on all the four corners and our fence didn't quite come long enough all the way we were hoping it would overextend but it just didn't clamp on enough so what we actually found out where there were some threaded holes on the end of this table so we decided to drill a couple holes in a nice solid metal plate and bolt it right to there and use that as our fence and then just use these boards as kind of our spacers to get it to the right point where we'd cut the 45 at. So that's the game plan. We'll see if we can run this thing on here and cut this thing into an octagon beam. bandsaw setup jig worked pretty good it actually carried a lot of this weight because it's beamed nice and heavy it actually carried a lot of the weight having that extended fence so it cut it really nice we got our giant octagon beam here and essentially this would be like a keystone that all the beams will rest on for our roof so it's all cut and now the next game plan is we're going to cut some 30 degree angles at the end here so it matches our roof line and then at the bottom, we're going to cut these out of 45 just so it's a little bit more decorative inside the silo because you'll see it. So we'll cut them out of 45 and leave a little flat part here on the bottom. That way we can hang something on it, something decorative. So we'll work on that next.
the bottom. That's more the decorative cut. We put a little chamfer on there. And our top, we have cut to our 30 degree roof line. So that way, our rafters go in there, matches the roof line. Eight sides for eight of our rafters to go around the octagon. Should turn out pretty freaking sweet. So now, we are gonna start working on our roof rafters. And what we're gonna do for these is we're gonna cut them on their roof pitch angle. So that'll be 30 degrees. That way it butts up to our octagon beam. And then we'll also put a little, it's a, it'll be a shallow T-knot and mortise into the octagon beam. It'll be about an inch deep. So we'll cut that in as well. We'll probably use a, a rotary template just to make it easier and get them all perfect. All right, we got, uh, got these all cut up. So basically, these are our roof rafters, which we routed our T-nons in. And then we also got our keystone beam. Some people call it a rafter beam. And basically, we routed our mortises into those as well. So these all sit in there. They all kind of lean up against each other. So what we're gonna do now is hopefully we cut these things to length and also our bird mouth joints for where they'll sit on the uh, posts. So hopefully we measured this out right and they all fit in like a glove, but we'll find out right now. We're gonna haul these things over to the barn and start putting this thing together. So let's get the bobcat out. So what we're trying to do now is just strap the bottom to reduce this joint and see how they all fit together. So we got the strap going around it and I'm going to see if we can uh, get it tight enough. Just collapses. Uh, it's a little nerve wracking. We got our primary rafters on and they are connected to our king beam over here and they all went together nice and tight. We got it all strapped together so it's held together. We can take the scaffolding out if we wanted to but we're just going to leave it in there while we're working on some other stuff. And what we're going to work on next is our secondary rafters and our secondary headers. So basically what we're going to do is cut some of these smaller headers to go in between the primary rafters and then we're going to put these secondary rafters in between. And we're gonna mortise and teen on them, and then we're gonna bird mouth them down here. So let's jump in the wood shop and cut these guys up.
secondary rafters and our secondary headers all done. So basically we cut out our bird mouse and these so they sit nice and flat and on the same level as these primary rafters. And then we chalk line a mark from the corner of each of the primary rafters. So that way we know where to cut this guy going down. So these things are all set and good to go. Now the next thing we're gonna work on is these secondary um, or corner joists for these this kink post. So we're gonna cut these, this is just an example, and then we're gonna route our pockets into the kink post, and then we're gonna do a mortise T-non onto the primary rafter. So we're gonna work on that next, but in order to do that, we gotta actually take this thing all apart and get this kink post out of here so we can start routering it. So let's, uh, let's start taking this thing apart. components that we've been working on. So it's got everything from these primary rafters, secondary rafters, our headers here, and then we also got our angle support joists for the primary rafters. So it's got everything it needs and what we are going to do now is actually take all these straps off and see if it holds itself. So we actually put some pegs in here so those are good to go. And then we also put ledger locks down there to hold all the rafters to the main headers down there. So we're gonna basically take the straps off, unscrew these little kicker boards and see if this thing holds itself. This is how you do it, Reed. Go stand on it, Deej. This is crazy. Dude, I'm, far. I'm not standing up. Come on, do it. You don't stand up for fire. We got this thing pretty darn solid. Oh. All in all, this thing went together really nicely. So we got everything from our king post beam, which now has the angle supports on it as well. And we got our secondary rafters in here. Everything went together a lot smoother than we were expecting. So it is rough sawn timbers. Basically what we had to do is assemble it, see how our cuts fit, take it all apart, and then make some adjustments to our cuts. We had to do that like three, four times. It was, it was a lot of work taking this thing apart a lot, but it turned out awesome. Right now we got it all put together with ledger locks. So our next step is actually gonna be trying to assemble this thing on top of the silo which it was tricky doing it in here, but now we gotta do it 30 feet in the air. So it's gonna get interesting. What we're gonna do next time is take these ledger locks holding the rafters in, take them out and disassemble this roof completely. And then we're gonna try and do it on top of the silo. So stay tuned. 